Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. Today, we're going to be assessing some more teaching from Troy Brewer. And I need to tell you, if you follow his ministry and you stick around to watch the entirety of this video, you are going to see that it is inexcusable to be a follower of his ministry moving forward. But before we get to our assessment, if you guys want to help promote good Christian content here on YouTube, please go ahead and take a second now to subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. All right, guys, here we go. Troy Brewer, it's great to have you on Charisma News to be able to talk about what God is saying for the year 2024. Um, and I know that you are the numbers guy. Uh, you, you've you got numbers that preach. And uh, that is a, a book that is really uh, one of the things that you're kind of known by. And uh, so. OK, so the only reason that I put that little clip in there is that I wanted everybody to see that this is Troy Brewer's little shtick. This is what he is known for within the charismatic, hyper charismatic community. He is the numbers guy. He's always looking for prophetic significance in numbers, and he's going to teach about those numbers. So in this video that we're watching today, you can see that the title of the video is 2024, the year of signs, miracles, and wonders. So he is specifically going to talk about the importance of the number 24. So all we are going to do is listen to the claims that he is making, and we are going to take the time to look into those claims to see if he is being truthful with us. So let's now go to our first claim from this video. Now, going into the year 2024, the overlay of that is this. The number 24 is a number that's related to priesthood, and it's a number that is related to uh, the encirclement of God's camp or the throne of Jesus himself being in the midst of people. So how is that? Wow. Well, the word lamb appears in the book of Revelation exactly 24 times, and it's always associated with the throne of Jesus. Revel All right, so let's just take the time to assess that. He said the word lamb is in the book of Revelation 24 times, and right, so there's supposed to be this prophetic significance. It's in there 24 times, so that's connecting to the year 2024. So if we go to Blue Letter Bible, this is a handy little tool. We can see the word uh, for lamb is our neon. And you can see that it is used in the New Testament 30 different times. And you're like, well, how many different times in Revelation, though? Because he said in Revelation. Well, here is a list of all the uses. You will see that the first usage is in the book of John. And every single other one is in the book of Revelation. So that means what? 29 times it is used in the book of Revelation, not 24. So he is inaccurate and incorrect in his statement that it is used 24 times in the book of Revelation. But let's listen to his next claim. So uh, I was looking this up this morning, uh, knowing I was going to talk to you. And I just thought, I need to look up the word judge. And I found that the word judge is found 24 times in the New Testament. All right. So he took the time personally to look it up that the word judge is in the New Testament 24 times. So here is the word for judge. It is crino. You can see down here one of the definitions is to judge. And we can see it is used how many times? 114 different times. And you saw there are multiple possible translations. You can see it is translated as judge 88 different times. So is that 24? No. So what is the prophetic significance then? Uh, there is none. That's the whole point. This man, I don't know if he is intentionally lying, if somebody is just giving him this information and he doesn't think that it's necessary to take the time to look it up, but we see he is 0 for 2 in his really important claims for the year 2024. So let's go now to our next one. Like, nope. The word, I'm sorry, the word repentance. So the, the command repent and be watchful the word repentance is in the Bible 24 times and the word and the word be watchful is in the Bible 24 times. This Well, what's the likelihood that either of those is correct? The word repentance is in there 24 times. This is the Greek word metanoia. How many times is it in the Bible? 34 times. Again, not correct. Be watchful. He says it's in there 24 times. You can see here's the word right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It is in there 23 times. At least he's somewhat close this time. But no, it is 23 times. Guys, this is 
important. I mean, his whole ministry, I played the clip at the beginning so we would see his whole ministry is built upon the idea that he's the numbers guy and these numbers are really significant and I have prophetic messages to deliver you. But think about it. His prophetic messages that are being delivered are built upon falsehoods, things that are verifiably false. And we only have one more clip that we're going to watch and we're going to see this most clearly in this last clip because remember, this is his prophetic word for the year and it's the year of signs, miracles, and wonders. Now, how does Troy Brewer know that it's the year of signs, miracles, and wonders? Well, it's going to be because of this special numerical significance that he sees in scripture. And we're going to see once again that it is not even accurate. Here we go. Amen. Amen. So what else is God saying? And thanks thanks for for peeling back the layers a little bit and letting us see how God speaks to Troy. <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you so much. I I also, I, I recognize that the word dunamis is in the Bible 24 times. And mm. I'm looking for a year of signs, miracles, and wonders. Dunamis power. Um, all right. So his prophetic word, dunamis power, signs, miracles, wonders, all of that is based off of the fact that dunamis is in the Bible 24 times. Here we go. You think that's right? So here's the word dunamis. How many times is it used in the Bible? 120 times, not 24. Guys, there is no excuse for this. I told you in the introduction that if you watched my video, you would see that it is inexcusable to follow this man's ministry. His ministry is built upon lies. And uh, whether it is intentional or not, I can't speak to that fact, but I have a really hard time believing that he thinks that all this information that he is sharing is correct. And if you follow his ministry, you will see that this is a consistent pattern. I've done one other video exactly like this, where we look at his claims and every single time his claims are incorrect. I'm not saying he never says anything that is right, but normally when he's making number claims, I feel confident in saying this with the research that I've done the overwhelming majority of the time he is incorrect. So if you're like, well, how do I know that you're being truthful with this? Well, one, I just gave you proof, but please go look up a video where he starts talking about numbers in this way and pause and take the time to actually fact check him on the things that he is saying. And you will see that he is incorrect. Guys, Troy Brewer's ministry is built upon lies and inaccurate information. Therefore, he is not somebody we should be following. You need to stay away from him in your Christian walk. All right, guys, as always, let's pray for Troy Brewer. Let's pray for his repentance and let's pray for all the people who follow his ministry. If you want to help get this content out to more people on YouTube, you can help me do so by subscribing to my channel. Also, please remember that you can partner together with me financially in ministry. I have a couple of links down below in the description, one to Kofi and one to Patreon. You can sign up to give a one-time gift or monthly recurring donations. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, God bless.